Hey guys, it's Jess and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the look that I'm wearing right now. It's a great sort of minimal makeup look that is perfect for lazy weekends and also those of you still at school who aren't allowed to wear too much makeup. So yeah, if you want to see how I did it then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to apply is my Arborian BB Cream and I'm just going to buff that into the skin. You could also use tinted moisturizer for this look but I find the coverage of BB Cream is much better. Next I'm going to fill in my brows using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo and I'm using it in the color Ebony but I find that it's actually a little bit too dark for me so I'm just going to use the lighter side. So just gently filling in my brows with sort of short stroke motions. I think the brows are really important especially when it comes to these sort of minimal makeup looks because they're really what are going to help to frame your face. So brows are done. Next I'm going to apply some mascara and today I'm using the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Flared Mascara and I'm really really liking this one at the moment. So just curling my lashes first. And be really generous with your mascara. I have like no lashes, so even if I'm being generous, it doesn't look like it. But yeah, be generous. Then take a matte dark brown or black shadow. I'm just going to use the darker side of my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And I'm going to line the top lash line just to help define my eyes a little bit more. So as you can see, that's helped to sort of define and open my eyes up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take my Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer and just apply a little bit to that under eye area. I'm just going to use my fingers actually. Help me look more awake. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and apply it under the brow. just to help lift the brow and give you a little bit of highlight. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this NP Set Contour and Highlight Palette. And that's what it looks like inside. It's really cool because it has like the contour and highlight shades, but also a couple of the blush shades. And I'm just going to use this to softly add dimension to the face. Make sure you blend this really well. You don't want any sort of harsh lines. Cool. And then I'm going to apply some of that highlighter color to the high points of the face. So the tops of your cheekbones. And down the center of your nose. And then just gently patting some on under the eye to help set the concealer that we applied earlier. And just some under the brow as well. Now you could leave the makeup there, but I like to add a little bit of color to my cheeks. So I'm going to take those two blush shades and mix them together. And just apply them to the apples of the cheeks. And always smile, because applying makeup should make you happy. <laughs> And lastly, what I might do is just take a small domed eyeshadow brush and mix a little bit of that brown and a little bit of that matte blush together and just apply it to the crease of the eyes to give the eyes a little bit more warmth and shape. And then just run that along your crease lightly. And just take whatever's left on your brush and dust it on your eyelid as well. And lastly for lips, I'm going to apply my Face of Australia Sheer Gloss Lip Crayon in Cupcake. And I really like this because it feels like a balm on the lips, so it keeps them moisturized, but also adds a little bit of color. And 
and we're done so that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this and will try it out if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video bye